Hi teachers, today I'm gonna to be sharing a few important ways that you can share documents and assignments with other teachers on Google Drive and Google Classroom. I know it can be tricky sometimes to share documents when they can be edited with others and on Google Classroom as well because then you start getting bombarded with lots of other students' assignments. So I'm gonna go ahead and share some different tips with you. So I'm going to create a new document within this folder. Um, I just created a folder called Sharing with Other Teachers as an example for you. So I am going to create a document and maybe this is a planning document for my team where I'm sharing some links and ideas for the week with them, but I don't want my team to edit this document. When I go to share this document, it will be important to change this pencil icon to can view. Then you'll see an eyeball right here. And when you insert the email addresses and click done, it will share it with the teachers. So they can view the links, they can click the links or whatever information you're sharing, but they will not be able to type in this document. So that is one way to share. The next way that you can share a document is you can make it so that when you share a link with teachers, it prompts them to make a copy of your document. In order to do that, you will click share once again, and you need to get shareable link. When you get shareable link, um, you will need to copy the link. Um, yours will likely look similar to this as well, but it will be within your school district. Um, if you're just sharing within your district to other students and teachers, that's fine. If you're sharing with other people, you will need to click more and change it to anyone with the link can access. So if you will be sharing it with parents' email addresses, you will need to click that setting and then click save. Then you will need to copy the link. And then when you paste the link, you can take everything after the last backslash, so the word edit and beyond, and delete it. And then after that backslash, insert the word copy, okay? So you just changed up that link. Now, when you copy your new link and paste it into a new tab, watch what happens. It says, would you like to make a copy of planning? So if you share that new link with teachers, it will ask them to make a copy to their own Google Drive, which will prevent them from editing. They'll get their very own copy that they can share with students, parents, whatever they need, and they can do their own personal editing. If we shift over to Google Classroom, I've found it to be very overwhelming to be marked as a co-teacher on another um, teacher's Google Classroom. And although this is a way to reuse assignments from someone else's Google Classroom so that all of the links and documents are carrying over, it can be overwhelming. You could create a planning um, Google Classroom. And this would be a good way to create assignments and share them there. So for example, you could create an assignment it has all the material students need. It has a Google document that goes with it. Um, and you know that there will need to be a copy for every student. Then that teacher will be able to make a copy of it on their classroom. So if teachers are on the planning Google Classroom, then they can create an assignment and do reuse post. Planning. And then as long as it says create new copy of all attachments, they can click the assignment and reuse, and it will copy everything over just as it is on that planning. Um, you will have to re-enter the due date, but any instructions will be there, the document will be there, and it is already set up to make a copy for each student. So this will be a way to stay disconnected from each other's students, but still connected in what assignments you are scheduling.